Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey friends, I'm Caleb and I've got a gift for all of us to share. It's my Bible. Inside, you'll discover why we celebrate Christmas. The Bible is made up of 66 books that tell the amazing story of how God created us and made a way to restore us, even after we turned away. The first 39 books, the Old Testament, are filled with hints of God's incredible plan. And the New Testament, 27 books if you're still counting, <laughs> launches with the most unusual rescue ever, Jesus. God's very own son is born as a human being in order to save the world. That's the heart of Christmas. And I've got five stories to show us what it's all about. We're gonna get started in the Gospel of John. Instead of starting with baby Jesus in the manger, John takes us way back in time. In the beginning, the Word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Life was in Him, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness. Just like your words show who you are, Jesus is God's Word to the world, and He came to bring a light that darkness can never overcome. Now we hop one book back to Luke. Long before, God had promised to send a rescuer, but then for hundreds of years, there was no recorded word from God. That is until a brilliant angel shows up to visit an ordinary girl named Mary. He brings a message that's anything but ordinary. Mary's about to have a baby who happens to just be God's son. Moving ahead one chapter in Luke, Mary and Joseph have been preparing for a brand new baby. When an unexpected road trip turns all their plans upside down. And to top it off, when they reach the end of their road trip, turns out they should have booked a room in advance. We move right ahead to the next set of verses. And spoiler alert, Jesus is born. Time to mail out the birth announcements. God could spread the news to kings and important leaders in the biggest cities, but instead, God sends an epic angel choir to wake up some average guys hanging out with a flock of sheep. Time to wrap up in the Gospel of Matthew. While the shepherds are the first to receive the news of Jesus, God does alert some other people too. But instead of angels, God sets a brilliant star in the sky. Some wise men far to the east know what it means, so they pack up gifts fit for a king and set out on the journey of a lifetime. Christmas is all about celebrating Jesus. He's God's greatest gift to me and to you, and we can keep celebrating the whole year through.